All right, so I have two pieces of geometry here made by the simple deformer command from the last video. I'm going to actually use this part over here and just kind of toss this one to the side. This one's a little bit more damaged in the fact that I have to uh, straighten it out some. So in 7 on the keyboard, I'm going to rotate this a little bit. So I'm going to rotate it like this. And then I'm going to transform origin to geometry. So now it's in the center. I'm also going to look at it to see if there's any rotation history or anything else. So I'm going to apply that rotation history. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, I'm going to take three of these and duplicate them all at once. And I'm going to take many of them and duplicate them. Whoops. All right, so this is what we got. And in the center, I'm just going to add another mesh. I'm going to add a cube. Scale that up. Do a multi-res on it. And apply that multi-res. Scale it up just a little bit further. And I'm just making this weird, unique thing. I just want to show you that something's possible so I'm just kind of lining these up in my top view And I'm producing enough to go down the center of the part. Good. That will serve well to illustrate my point. And the point is creativity. What are you going to do with this? Well, everybody concentrates on monsters, goblins, you know, things like that nature. You know, crawl outside that box a little bit and think about, you know, just shape and how could I produce very unique shapes. And then you can add them to your monsters and goblins and zombies and everything else. So I'm going to grab all these and I'm going to join them all. Then I'm going to origin to geometry. So now everything's balanced. There we go. Can make it thinner and longer. rotation. Okay, now if I add that bend command, let's see what happens. Very cool, right? 
and all it is is a bunch of pieces that are all de deformed together. But I made the first piece via deform bend and some changes. And then I stuck a couple more pieces in here and deformed them based upon joining them. So when you are making stuff out of deformers, use your imagination. It helps out. And of course, it would require a lot more polygons, but you could take this piece and, you know, duplicate that over and over again and then do it again and even produce something a little bit more unique. Your polygon count would skyrocket to the point where it'd be useless other than rendering it out. But again, very unique. All right, so that's all I wanted to illustrate for this video is the fact of that. And let's go into the next video.